Hey all, my name is Laszlo Leber. Welcome to my channel Coaching. Today I would like to show you that how you can deploy a Node.js application in the Azure cloud. We will use the Azure Web App for Container Service. In our last tutorial we have created a Node.js application which was basically a server-side rendered application which rendered a React application, React 18 application on the server side. Today we will deploy it in the Azure cloud, we will use the Azure Web App for Container Service, we will create a container registry, we will build our Docker image and we will push it to this new registry and after that we will create a new web app on the Azure cloud and we will deploy our application. We will check it out that how is it running inside the Azure environment. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing to do is to dockerize our Node.js application. So please create a Docker file. Here we derive our application from the node 18.7.0 and the work directory is slash user slash src slash app and we copy the package.json and package log.json into the container. The next thing to do is to run npm install command. Of course, when we will build a production uh, Docker file, it could be a little uh, different. So I just write here a little hint about it, but it doesn't matter now. And now I'm copying everything inside the container. In the next step, we will expose the port 3009 because there are no JS application running on that port. And also run the npm start um, server, npm run start server will be the command here and you know we have to build the front-end application the react 18 application because it's a server-side rendered application so we have to run the front-end build inside here so i'm calling npm run build client as well to build static javascript and css files that are used by the Node.js application during the server-side rendering process. In case of this tutorial, it doesn't matter so much. You can use any Node.js application that you want. You just need to create a little express application, for example. Before this next step, you have to register an Azure account and after that you can create a container registry uh, on your subscription. The first thing is to give a name of the registry it is coaching for myself and the place is West Europe for me after that you have to select the picking plan I'm selecting the basic one here and you have to set up a resource group as well because if it's empty you cannot go on and I'm creating a new resource group as well named coaching and I'm creating this uh, docker registry. You have to wait a little bit and after that the installation is complete you can check your docker registry. Here you can see that my docker registry coaching is ready. So I'm opening it. Here you can see my docker registry resource group is created as well okay here is my resource group and this is the registry inside of it okay um, you can check your access keys and now we can log in with the docker login command you can use the url from here and the username and also a generated password that you can copy from that UI 
and here you can see that I'm successfully logged in. Now we can run the docker build command, the tag contains the server name and also my image name is no test and I have a tag snapshot. After that we can test out our docker image locally. I'm running docker run command on it. I'm exposing the port 3009 and here we go. We can run our docker container. We can check it inside our browser. So I'm calling localhost 3009 and here you can see that my Node.js application is running and it's a server-side rendered application and here you can see that the whole content is coming from the server side in the first response. So the main response contains the HTML rendered on the server side. Okay, the next thing is to close the application now. I stopped it and I'm pushing the Docker image to my registry that I have created before. Okay, docker push command is running. I'm up uploading my docker image to the registry, to the Azure registry. And it's ready. It's pushed to the reg registry and you can check it. If you go to the repository, you have to find your pushed docker image here. Here you can see my snapshot version here. Everything seems to be okay. And now the next step is to create the web application. So search for web app for containers and click on it. You can create your web application. You have to give a name. I'm using coaching node test for this test purpose and I'm also for the region I'm selecting West Europe and after that you have to set up your container. I'm selecting Azure Container Registry and I'm selecting my Docker image and press continue continue. I'm not setting any more thing here And after that, you press the create button. You have to uh, you have to wait a little bit. Here you can see my application is ready. And here you can see that it's not loading yet. This is because we have to set up our port. Our port is three thousand nine, and you can use this website's port environment variable you have to go to the configuration section and under the application settings you have to give this uh, settings so I am placing 3009 here and I am restarting the application after you save these settings it will automatically restart your application you have to wait a little bit to let Azure set up everything correctly it can it could took uh, few minutes and after that you can open your application here you can see that my application is running on the right uh, domain so it's coaching node test azure websites.net and here you can see that it is loaded correctly so everything is working as expected and after that uh, you can check for example the logs of your application here you can see the container logs and inside of it you can find for example the node.js application log that I issued from my server.js this is the console log and after that if if you for example would like to delete your application you can press the delete button here you have to type in the application's name and after you typed it you can press the delete button and you can delete your application with its related uh, objects in Azure. Okay, and also I would like to delete the whole uh, resource group because I don't need it anymore. I created it just for this tutorial, so 
now I am deleting it. It can took few minutes and after that here you can see that my resource group is not available anymore. It is deleted. Okay, thank you very much for watching. It was my tutorial about how to deploy an OGS application on the Azure cloud using the Azure Web App for Container Service. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will find many interesting tutorials on this channel in the future as well. And pl please press the like button. It will help a lot. And thank you very much again. Have a nice day. Bye.